This is day five of Vlogmas this year, Vlogmas 2023. Um, if you are new here, my name is Julia. I'm the owner of Handmade Jewels on Instagram and Facebook. That's my intro line to my podcast, if you've watched those before. Um, yeah, so this is Vlogmas. I am videoing myself every single day of the month of December, up and just up until Christmas. Um, so yeah, you get to see a little bit of the insight on my life, what I do every day, and this little bit of yarny knitting, crocheting content in these videos as well. So today I was back to work. Um, I'm an x-ray tech, so um, yeah, I work at a hospital and I was 8 to 4 today, so that's a nice long day shift. Um, so it was good. And this evening we took her easy, made some supper, I had some time to crochet. <clears throat> um, so I did work on a few things. I'm going to show you those. Um, what did I do? At work actually. I did crochet a bit. So I'm working on the Sino for a custom order. I think I showed this yesterday. Um, but I did get one of his legs done. So there's a little leg. Got three more to go. Um, and this is the Kotlin from Knit Picks. I don't know if you're familiar with that. There you go. Oh, it's not. So it's a cotton linen blend. It's, one second, 30% linen, 70% cotton. Um, so it is incredibly soft. And you can see it's got a little bit of like a fuzz to it. Which is like that linen in it it's not too much linen where it's like scratchy and annoying but it wears beautifully it's so soft and they have like the best colors ever this is a very modern blue this is called raindrop so i've been working on that dyno and i'm really trying to get so i have an order of christmas minis they're little amigurumi cute little things for like shelf decor I, i'm uh, on the first on day one i made these gingerbread guys um so i have an order i have to finish for this lady that ordered a whole bunch and i have this christmas tree done for her as well so cute i love the pom-poms on this guy he's adorable so these are all made from the kotlin from knit picks and tonight i was working on not this one but a, another poinsettia so i have one of the poinsettias done his face is a little deformed he is so cute look at his little cheeks he's got little blushy cheeks in the top so nice so i really love how cute these are <laughs> they're so tiny and perfect for like any shelf any anything decoration in your house so yeah I, I finished the large set of petals whoa this is really hard to show but yeah because it's all messed up but right now it looks very haggard and weird but yeah it will be nice <laughs> it'll lay perfectly flat like this oh I can't do it I'm sorry in the dirt it will be great so I'm working on this hope to get this done one what day is it monday wednesday or thursday night for her because she needs them by the weekend so that's that worked on that that took me a super long time that's the i don't know what colorway this is moroccan red maybe the kotlin i think it is it's a really good christmasy red um, yeah, so that's that for orders for Handmade Jewels. I finished another square for my advent, my granny square blanket. So now I have two. Yay me. Two squares done. So that's super good. I love the speckles. They're so beautiful. And you can really see the blue in these. Um, yeah, you can barely see the blue. So awesome. 
So I'm thinking, um, I'm trying to plan like the colors for the points and the main color for this this quilt block is what I'm going to call it. And I think for the background color for this, this block, I'm going to do the neutral color. The cream, that's what I meant. Not neutral. They're all neutral. But this is what came with my ad, the advent. So it's just the undyed, they call it natural at Polka Dot Creek. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. Um, and yeah, so this is just the classic sock base in the natural colorway and this is just a 50 gram so i'm gonna have to order a lot more of this at some point not yet but i will have to order more but yeah i think this this will go well um in the quilt block with this gray so i'm loving this so good yeah so that's pretty exciting got two done i still have two more to go still got quite a bit of yarn left on this ball. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with the scraps after because I know there won't be much left. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions for like very small amounts of yarn left over, let me know. So yeah, that's that. I don't think I ever told you um, the size of... So this is a fingering weight yarn. I'm using a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook to make those granny squares so and it's five rounds five rounds just in like a basic very basic like solid granny square I think that's what it's called on like google or whatever if you want to find the pattern for that all right last but not least I want to open my um day two yay I'm so excited so this is the day two of my polka dot creek speckled advent it's a 12 day advent so if you have a speckled 12 day advent from polka dot creek this is your chance to look away if you haven't opened yours yet um, i am opening my advents every other day because it's a 12 day advent and i wanted to start at the beginning of december and kind of spread the love until Christmas day. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Instead of starting 12 days before Christmas and opening one every day, I'm just doing one every other day. So it's working for me because I'm still working away on day one colors. So it's good, but I'm very excited to open this. So let's go ahead and do that. Sorry about the crinkling. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sometimes it's kind of like satisfying to the crackling. <gasps> Can see it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I love it so much, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, look at those oranges. I'm dead. I'm dead. They are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? I don't know. That's pretty good. You can see that. Maybe. <laughs> Guys. Oh, it's pumpkin pie. That's so good. That that's amazing because like I didn't they they specifically said they weren't Christmas colors, which is what I wanted because I'm putting them into a blanket that is not going to be for Christmas. It's going to be a blanket all year round. And I didn't want to have red and green. I mean, I can have some red and green, but not, I didn't want every single one to be red and green. So I'm super excited about this. So if you missed that, it's called pumpkin pie. I think I said it really fast. Love the little tiny label on there. It's like, wants to pick up my sweater for some reason, why? I'm so sorry guys, this is painful. Pumpkin pie. Should cover my face actually, not. There you go. Anyways, you get the gist. I'm so excited about this. So, I might leave it in the skein until I finish those other ones. Oh, but they're so 
different and so awesome. I love that they're not like the same. I love that they don't go together because I really want this to be like whimsical. Is that the right word? Random. So good. Yay. Okay. That's awesome. I don't think I have any other comments. No. I hope you enjoyed all the festive things I did today. I I got, I'm just going to say this quickly. I got the Quartha Dairy eggnog from the grocery store and I screamed when I saw it. So, if you're not if you don't live in Canada, actually if you don't live in Ontario, you probably don't even know what Quartha is. But it's this super yummy dairy company that's like in the northern part of Ontario. They're super popular ice cream store and their ice cream flavors are so good and the ice cream is so creamy and delicious and um they had this Kawartha dairy eggnog and I just oh, it is so good my mom and my mom came over and I I was like we need to try this I bought it for her and me because nobody else likes it except for us too so it was fun to appreciate it with her tonight. So that was a fun little Christmassy thing that I did. Um, yeah, other than that, it was a boring day because I worked and then came home and sat and crocheted. It's pretty much my life. So I like it that way. <laughs> uh, tomorrow's another work day. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens later on in the day. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.